Hi guys. It is a spectacularly gorgeous, and I mean over the top, beautiful. It is a Sunday morning. A Sunday morning here in uh, Bugs in a Jar Farm. That would be Sunday, August 15th, 2021. And I'm sitting here trying to force myself out of bed to deal with another fucking day of taking care of young couples in love here at uh, the Bugs in a Jar uh, I don't know what you call this is this the, is this the love retreat for young couples in love Jesus fucking Christ. I'm sitting up here, of course, alone in uh, in my tent up here because let's see, in the Maggie May, in the USS Maggie May, I have this young couple traveling around from Bolivia and over in the Sancho Sheraton Tiny House, I have this young couple from India. So I have all of these little lovebirds, and I have another pair of lovebirds coming in in about five hours. Don't know what country they're from. I think they might actually be from this country. So I am sitting here, your old depressed, doomsday, lonely heart, sitting here spending my weekend basically uh my main job this weekend is changing sheets because they had this other young couple in love so let's see so i get to change the sheets that four couples have slept on i get to change the wet spots i guess for four different couples but hey you know, I'm making five hundred dollars this weekend here on being an Airbnb host here in paradise, taking care of all of these little love birds while uh sitting here facing another day alone in paradise. Just trying to get out of bed, you know, that is the first challenge of the day, is getting out of bed so I can put on my happy face around all these young lovers planning their day together. You know, I can hear them down there right now. They're down there making coffee. I can hear people laughing and two different languages they're down there making coffee having their breakfast together you know making their plans for this absolutely gorgeous day probably you know going hiking at some waterfall up here or some gorge or going bike riding they were asking me about kayaking I guess they didn't these guys from India didn't realize that only one person could fit in a kayak uh, a kayak for one so they're down there doing that making all of their little plans for young lovers while I'm sitting here Trying to get the fucking energy to get out of fucking bed. See what big me she has in dealing with this fucking mess with this bathroom leak that I got, of course, Rob and Donna, the married couple who live here. So if Ron and if Rob and Donna were here, there would be three couples down there. I would be the 
the uh, seventh wheel. I'm only the fifth wheel now. I would be the seventh wheel. So Rob and Donna are at Sandy's, and meanwhile, uh, everything here is fucking falling apart. The goddamn gas grill blowing up, burning the fucking house down, and twice the goddamn plumbing exploding in the back. I was at fucking midnight last night. What I was doing at midnight last night on a Saturday night, uh, th this is what I've been reduced to. I was, I, uh, I was, and so Rob and, and Donna, I owe you uh, a hose to your shop vac. Uh, I was literally sawing off a piece of a shop vac hose to make a piece of pipe for the bathroom to keep the bathroom from flooding. I was down on my hands and knees in a puddle of fucking water uh ramming a a shop vac hose into my plumbing to patch it up until rob can get here and uh figure out what the fuck is going on with the bathroom plumbing i don't know if that's gonna hold or not till till rob gets back i guess sandy uh i guess sandy is at some family reunion. Oh, God. And here I sit in this tent and I'm dealing with this uh, for the second time this summer going uh, into a depression over some uh, hard-headed married woman that I've been in love with for two years for the second time in less than three months. And I will say I've pretty much abandoned all hope. Now, uh, I do have this pension in the 11th hour and 59th minute of uh, the universe finally coming together for me like it did you know when I bought this place I bought this damn place in the 11th hour and 59th minute so have I abandoned 100% of my hope for uh, Dulcinea it's uh, this is not a Dulcinea rant by the way it's just a depressed collapsitarian lonely heart rant it's your general uh, I guess the difference between the depression that I went through just a couple of months ago over this woman uh, is that I still thought she was going to come around to her senses. Because to this minute, she's never told me she's not coming up here. Uh, and so I actually... Well, it was you know like you know like Don Quixote still thinking that uh, it eventually I was going to get together with this woman, but after meeting up with her on Wednesday, it just you know it, it's I guess this latest depression it's it it's it's a double edged depression. I mean, there's the loss of Dulcinea herself. Uh, you know, getting over her, you know, I've been in love with this woman for over two years, devoting my life to, uh, you know, waiting around, fixing this place up, waiting around for her to uh, come be my doomer chick forever, so, and now that it's apparent that she has no interest in uh, coming up here to Bugs in a Jar Farm for one day, uh, much less 30 days, or much less the rest of my fucking life. It's, you know, I still have to get over her. And since I've been in love with her for over two years, you know, I, I've got that to deal with. But, of course, uh, she is just the screen over the... You know, I just need to face the fact 
you know, I'm, I'm getting ready to turn 62 years old here. The, Dulcinea was my last chance. She was my very last chance that I was ever going to have to, uh, y you know, find a woman where, you know, that on this beautiful fucking Sunday morning I should be having coffee with, making our plans to go to hiking, fucking waterfall, whatever, uh... You know, I just need to face the fact that I will never again know what that feels like. It's been ten fucking years, ten years, that I uh, had something remotely related to a girlfriend. And I've really had enough of this shit, this big towing and... I mean, I, 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 I take stock of my life here, and it's, you know, it's clear that I, that I'm, I'm fucked or not fucked, uh, as, as the case may be. Uh, not only am I facing a, a life of celibacy, I, a vow I never took, uh, you know, celibacy is the least of it. It's certainly a big part of it, but uh, I, I, you know, I, I'm, I'm never going to know the pleasure of, you know, just holding a woman in my arms while we drift off to sleep. What did Dulcinea call it? She, I guess to rub salt in her, she pointed out to me uh, on Wednesday, we've never had pillow talk. No shit, Dulcinea, we've never had fucking pillow talk. Uh, who's fucking uh, whose fucking fault is that that we've never had fucking pillow talk but I know what she means it's it's this pillow talk I've never I don't think I've I might have heard that term but I've never really thought about the term pillow talk I will never have pillow talk with a woman again not only will I never have sex with a woman again, I will never have pillow talk. Uh, it's just that, you know, that feeling. Usually the, the post-coital glow. You know, and waking up in the morning all snuggled up on a chilly morning. Getting up out of bed and making the coffee and all of that crap. All of that fucking crap that makes life a, a little bit less painful. And it's just... And, and once I get over Dulcinea, that I'm never going to have pillow talk with the woman I'm in love with, with the only, with the only woman I, on the planet I want to have pillow talk with, and uh, once I work through her, and it will happen, what it's going to take though is, you know, um, I, I guess I'm giving her, uh, she has three months, she has three fucking months uh, to, uh, make up her mind but she's had over two years and I think I got the answer but you know it's the abyss behind uh, it's the abyss behind Dulcinea is, is the one that you know it's what's the fucking point You know, this garden is coming in gangbusters, and, you know, the corn crop is getting ready to come in, the tomatoes, the, uh, all the good stuff coming in now, and, you know, we should be out making salsa together, and, uh, oh, fuck.
So here's another absolutely fucking gorgeous Sunday in the end times. And what do I get to do? Change sheets and sit here and put on the happy face. <sighs> get out there and put on your happy face while you still can. Bye, guys.